Okay, my love, so it's definitely about that time for another facial because maskne is so real. And if you have sensitive skin like I do, then you have been going through this same struggle that I have. So obviously we know we have to wear a mask, but because of that, it's like almost inevitable for my skin to break out. Like this has been the worst that my skin has been since I was like 19 years old because my skin can't take the mask, friction, the heat, all those type of things um, contribute to having acne on your face right now in this time that we need a mask. Um, so for people who are always asking me about my skin, yes, it has been an uphill battle um, since we had to start wearing masks. Um, at first, I didn't connect the two, but it wasn't until I seen Molly. You guys know I love Molly. That's who I always go to. That I realized like, no, this is actually a problem. And she let me know that there's been an influx in people breaking out on their cheek areas. So today I'm actually going to go to Skin Spirit. Um, it's a new office here in Long Beach. So I'm super excited to be checking them out to see what they have in store for my face because as you guys can see, my forehead is completely clear. Um, but I just have congestion all on my cheeks. And it's been worse, but the last time I seen Molly, she definitely helped a lot. So, um big ups to molly but today i'm gonna try skin spirit and we're gonna see what it does to my skin right now the only thing i have on my face is i washed it and i put rose water and jojoba oil and even though this breakout looks like nothing to some people it still really bothers me because it's more of a texture thing to me than anything i am very used to my skin being clear so we're just gonna handle that why am i talking so much I don't know. So let's go. All right, you guys. So I'm walking down the steps, and this is in spirit. A little screening for COVID. Okay, no problem. Can you tell me more about Diamond Glow? Yeah. Have you done any sort of facials before? Yes. So I've done like um, green peels, hydrofacials. Hydrofacials. And that's around pretty much it as okay. of recently. Okay. The, the Diamond Glow facial is the most similar to the hydrofacial. Gotcha. It's with an advanced technology. So it does three things all at the same time. It What it does is it exfoliates your skin. Mm -hmm. um, it extracts impurities from the surface of your pores gotcha. not anything too deep but anything that's kind of superficial pulls to the surface it'll vacuum it out gotcha. section it out and then at the same time it at the same time it infuses a medical grade serum back into your skin cool so depending on your skin needs i can choose a customized serum mm -hmm. and we can use that to address whatever concerns you have gotcha so for example if you feel dehydrated i can do a hydrating serum if you feel like you have some dullness, we could do a brightening serum. If you feel like you have some hyperpigmentation from scars, we can um, use a serum for that. If you're oily, we can do like a pore clearing one. So it just depends on what you feel like your skin needs. I got a lot of things going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what do you think? Um, what do you think you'd like to address today? So because of the mass, mm -hmm. unfortunately, I have been getting a lot more cheek um, mm -hmm. acne, and the thing is, because of that, I would say hyperpigmentation. Mm -hmm. But then also. Um, congestion okay. too because my skin is very like not sensitive but sensitive okay. and like the friction and the heat is yeah. not okay. usually I have no breakouts like my forehead is pretty Always much clear. usually what the rest of my face uh -huh. looks like and like since you know the pandemic stuff yeah. this is very congested like okay. this whole thing so I think those are my biggest things okay. the congestion do you mind um, taking off your yeah. mask for me I would love to Oh my gosh, you have such beautiful skin. <laughs> Thank you. But, <laughs> I mean, I but, see one. <laughs> no, but it's, but it's like a texture thing too. Oh, yeah. So like when I'm washing my uh -huh. face, I can feel okay. like under. So yeah. yes, people always say, oh, your skin's so pretty. But it's like when I'm washing it, I can feel that it's like congested yeah. underneath. I know you what know? you mean. It's not like the big, deep cystic pimples, but it's the superficial ones that you just feel a little bit of roughness. Yes, yeah. yes. So that tells me that it's not really hormonal. It's like you said, it's more so an external, an mm -hmm. external cause. So probably congestion from wearing the mask and the oil builds up. Um, and then if you're wearing a lot of makeup too, that also causes a little bit of, uh, causes a little bit of clogging. Mm -hmm. um, so we can, let me choose, uh, I'll do a brightening serum today. Okay. Um, and then are you picking at your skin? <laughs> Trying to get those little- I don't actually, I'm not <laughs> okay. a picker. Okay, Good, yeah. I'm not a picker. Okay, try not to pick because that'll, you know, take the hyperpigmentation longer to fade. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's do a brightening one. It'll help to um, fade out the little brown marks a little bit faster. Okay. Um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. Cool. All right. So I'm about to change, put this fuzzy robe on. 
this is a very nice robe let me tell you i may have to step my robe game up <laughs> so today you guys i'll be getting the diamond glow which we see right here and i believe she said she's going to be tackling my hyperpigmentation so that's the serum we're going to be using today now now looking at me if you're just looking at me regular you probably won't see it but if you're really up close you can see the little bit of piper pigmentation that's there so you have to be really close but it's still something that greatly bothers me so that's something that i definitely want to take care of um today so come in so that is what we're going to be taking care of today right <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect timing <laughs> so yes that's what we're doing we're going to get started right now when was your last hydrofacial Mm, probably like a month and a half ago. A month and a half ago? Yeah. Or two months. A month and a half or two months because it's August now. Yes, yeah, probably June. Okay, perfect. What was your face doing at that point? Um, it was still kind of doing the same uh -huh. like thing with the mask uh -huh. thing. Um, it just, it'll be chill for like maybe like a week or a week and a half uh -huh. and then like if I have to start wearing masks again, it kind of just does the same thing. It would kind of pop up again? Yeah. Do you want to use a um, hairband or no? Yes, please. Oh, Preserve so the baby hair. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. So. I'm going to start with the facial face washing. Do you have any, okay. anything on your face? Just um, jojoba oil. Okay. Just oil? Yeah. No makeup? No makeup. Wow. wow. That's my skin. <laughs> oh man, it's, it's <laughs> you know right now I I just uh, We're our own I know I need to be happy for what I have, but I'm just used to something different. Yeah. So the roughness bothers me every time I wash my face, and then someone's like, "Oh my god, your skin's so pretty." I'm like, "Thank you." You're like, "You're so nice, but right." But in the shower, let me tell you, I feel it. Valley, did you grow up there? Um, no, I was actually born on the East Coast, but I've been in California since my teens, but oh, different okay. parts of um, California. Oh, okay, okay. And then after college, I um, moved did you go to, to LA. Or? What did you study? Um, so actually, I was pre med for in, oh, up no until way. junior year, but then I actually ended up graduating with business with a concentration in marketing. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, completely my, different. Completely. Yeah. My parents were like, what? <laughs> I want to go back to school eventually for holistic. Yeah. Um, but I'm waiting until there's like more schools because right now there's only like there's seven. Not many. Yeah. yeah. So I'm waiting till it's more of an acceptable practice. Yeah. You know? I think it slowly is becoming more. Mm hmm. in demand too exactly yeah I think that was more so my passion it was just like me taking all of these chem classes it was like this is not what i want to do right. you know like this is this is not it okay, so you can tilt your head up slightly from mm -hmm. here a little bit more the cat licking is like pretty on point actually <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a really yeah. good way of a little like it. sandpaper -ish. yeah do you have any I used to have two cats. Oh, really? Yeah, they passed away. Oh. And, and, and so you know the traffic's not too bad, right? It's more so like when you... More rush hour times. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's more so rush hour times. So I am going to switch the serum into a hydrating serum so okay. that we can go over your under eyes. Okay. And help to hydrate your lips as well. Yay. <laughs> so technically there's nothing that can be done about dark under circles, right? Um, there are a few things that can be done. Um, if the skin itself is a little bit darker, mm -hmm. which most people have a little bit of darker skin under the eyes, because the skin is thinner. So mm -hmm. when the skin is thinner, we kind of see through it. Mm -hmm. um, and the way, the, the way the light reflects it, it makes the under eyes appear a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. um, so for the skin itself, for the color to be a little lighter, we can't do anything to, you know, what is it? Like um, tint the skin or anything. Mm -hmm. But if you have, um, a shadow from volume loss or volume deficit mm -hmm. that makes the under eyes appear darker because the light doesn't reflect there. Mm -hmm. Then you can add like a little bit of filler mm -hmm. to lift the, the hollowness and it makes your eyes appear brighter. Gotcha. Yeah. So it just depends on what the actual cause is of the under eye hollow. <laughs> so I think you look great. Thank 
But your skin doesn't appear dark to me. I'll I'll check it out in lighting. Okay. Yeah. Have yeah. like the lips that people come in for uh, come in asking for. Really? Have a picture of like lips like yours. They're like, can I get lips like these? And I'm like. Not really. That's hilarious <laughs> because my family always makes fun of how thin my lips are. Really? Are, yeah. Your lips are like so cute. Thank you. It's like the perfect pout. Thank you. I'm going to show them this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a lot. I'm excited. Okay. Do you see the stuff floating around? Oh. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Gross. <laughs> I'm glad it's out. Or, you know, if you see closely, there's like little white heads. Yeah. And then the bigger ones are, you know, black heads. There's some dead skin floating around. Wow. I yeah. see it. Oh, yeah, those ones. ones. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. And there's yeah. like that cluster. Yeah, look at, these are, look at these bigger ones down here. Oh, I'm so glad it's out. <laughs> <laughs> but all the little white heads you had that were on the surface, mm -hmm. they all came out. Yay. Yeah. Adding a serum right now. Yes, first we added the toner mm -hmm. to kind of bring your um, face back to a good pH balance. Okay. And now we're going to top it off with a light TCA serum. Okay. That's going to help to further clear the pores and brighten the skin. Yay. Not the best smell. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you're like, agreed. Great, you're all set. Thank you. You're great. Welcome. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're amazing. Thank you. You're great. Thank you. You guys, it already looks so much better texture wise. Like, it's not as rough, especially this side. It was very congested. And it already looks so much calmer. It sucked out a lot, y'all. So, I'm happy. My skin looks really glowy, so I'll show you in the car. 